Classic FM 97.3, the only station that plays every song you know. Five minutes past 12, it's not often you get to be in the same room with living legends. RBRM in the house, and uh, I, I'm thinking I'm a little bit overwhelmed. It doesn't happen often, but it's happening right now. <laughs> I'll tell you what, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to crash something. We've got, um, we've got RBRM in the house, and we've also got a certain gentleman who I'd love to throw a few questions at. We've got Brooke in the house here. Can we make a bit of noise for you? Now, now, you know, it's not often. This is, this is a legend. My first question to you. Brooke. And this is really rare that he... Absolutely. Uh, and, and I was like, listen, Brooke, we, we need to talk to you. And he's like, I'm not really... Uh, no, 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 for real. So my question, Brooke, is we just listened to something in your eyes. And there's a line in that movie that I'm using now. Because it goes, um, and I knew it was on. I knew it was on. When did you know it was on? When did you know that these lads that were in the studio with, I mean, this, there's something special here. This is going to go and go and go. When did you know? When did you get that feeling? When they showed up. You just took <laughs> one look at them and you were like, this is gold up. right here. They, they, they assaulted me. For real? <laughs> yeah, they showed up that next day, that's right. Now, hopefully, you're going to get to see um, some of the videos that are going to get posted on social media. Because you know what? In the background, whilst you were listening to the songs, I mean, um, Yinka just played you, uh, let's go through the songs he, he played. Still we in did uh, Still in Love, Something yeah. in Your Eyes, and Good right. Enough. Right. Now, the boys, nah, I can't say the boys now, can I? The boys were singing along, same voice, same everything. So how have you guys done that? I mean, what do you do? How do you do that? It's the same voice. It sounds just like it always did. It doesn't sound like Candy Girl, but in it's this all, one. It's all practice. You know, yeah. um, what Brooke instilled in us is um, practice makes perfect. Mm. And, you know, um, we practice, you know, we, we get in there and we give our blood, sweat and tears mm. to, um, to, to, to be great. Um, and like he said, you know, practice makes perfect. If you practice hard enough, yeah. you will continue to be successful. And uh, okay. we practice. Yeah. And having that love ultimately for what we do. This is like in our DNA, we felt like we were born to do this. And there's a lot of new addition, a lot of Bobby Brown, mm. a lot of Bell Bib the Bow for lifers out there that love what we do and have spoken life into us and mm. prayed for us every step of the way. And anytime they say lights, camera, action, we don't want to disappoint them ultimately. So whether it's making sure we exercise, uh, making sure we put the right things in our body. So we're in optimum condition ultimately yeah. when we hit that stage. That's what it's all about. Okay, ultimate condition when we hit that stage. So who can still bust a move? We all Honestly. Right. 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 We don't take we it take, for granted. We right. take pride in that. Yeah. Yeah. We, take, we really take pride in, in, in our performances. Um, it's, it's, it's what, like we get, we give to the crowd so that they can give back to us. Right. So the energy that they give to us from what we give to them right. just excites us and make us want to do even more right. and better, you know, so that um, the people leave there with their money's worth, right. you know. We don't want to, you know, do a bad show and, and expect to get paid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you, I saw, I saw a clip of, um, of a young, a young upcoming, I don't know, upcoming, but it's a young artist. I think his name is Jacquees. Jacquees, like yeah. And uh, he he was in a clip with Keith Sweat, and right. it was a bit awkward. I, 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 was, I was a bit upset by it. Uh, I was, I was, I was a bit disrespectful. Um, he's claiming to be the king of R and B, uh, and he's got around, he said it a few times. Uh, how do you feel about this? You know, what's what's your what's your opinion on that video? 
I mean, um, it, it, in, in my opinion, ultimately, I think it's an era thing. Of, you know, he, yeah. he did say he's the king of R&B as far as the 16 to 20 year old. 25, yeah, 25, 25 he said. I mean, when you look at it from that perspective, okay, he may be leading the pack, but it's ultimately disrespectful. Uh, when you're standing on the shoulders of everybody else that paved the way, you know, right. from yeah. James right. Brown, Michael Jackson, Sam Cooke, yeah. like, you know, Prince, Bruce, 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 all these other names, names. Other names. Like, come on, man, yeah. you know, you can't really even take the crown for yourself. You got to give it to somebody else and just continue to learn until somebody gives it to you. You know, you don't want to represent it in that fashion, but... You can't just call good. yourself the king. The king. Right. Yeah. One out. You know, you know. Yeah. That's just you know, just like Ronnie said, very disrespectful. Yeah. Totally disrespectful. I, I I was very very upset when I saw the video because I thought Keith Sweat felt a bit awkward and he had he kind of yeah. like just yeah. stopped and walked off as if I can't And his energy, we we met him at the Soul Train Awards. You know, his energy yeah. was real good. Like when he yeah. came into the room, you know, he shouted all of uh, all of us out and gave us our respect. So. But it was this. Go ahead, go ahead. Mike. I, know. I was met the guy. I'm waiting right. for Mike's response. No, I was going to say, I, I think you got to look at things from two different perspectives. What you're saying is the king of R&B is someone that got a body of work. Yeah. Absolutely. That's how you used to get the title. Right. Right. But you can sit home and load up your song now and enter the music business. So the level of success isn't what it used to be. So someone can feel that way with one out, whereas we know you need 10 out, right. you need 10 tours. The game done changed. So in his mind, for his generation and, and, and being as ill as he was, it actually was a smart thing to do. It's just rubbing some people the wrong way. Uh -huh. There's no difference when they do the hashtag, the dance challenge. Okay. Someone's just trying to get everyone to talk, and that's all we doing. Yeah, we yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. So maybe he's been smart. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, when he was <laughs> in the dressing room with us, he right. came in our dressing room. Right. We ain't got to go see the king. Right. The king came and saw yeah. us. <laughs> he wanted to take pictures with us. He was talking to us like he knew all of our music. Right. And his whole personality was totally different. I just think he's in a position now where he can't turn back. And I think what they captured on TMZ probably, it looked a little ill, the body language of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But I think the way Keith played it made it not go left. You see uh, what I'm saying? Because yes, he could have yes. reacted a different way. But the answer to your question, man, the game done changed. You got to respect, what you call them, lads? You got to respect <laughs> the lads. You, know, you got to respect the lads. And you got to give respect to the OG. Absolutely. Because in our crew, this the king. Right. Why? Right. But online, someone said Ricky Bell's the king. Right. <laughs> so, so me and Ron, we hang out with kings. Yes. 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 I take that. I take that. Oh, All right. right. <laughs> RBRM in the house, okay. in the classic right. lounge with us. We are talking to living legends, like I said. Loads of questions coming in. If we don't get to do your question, please don't hate us. There's just too many questions coming in on social media. And uh, we can't deal with every single one, but um, we're having fun. So, guys, without giving too much away, what can we expect? RBRM. Um, what's what's, what's going on? You can expect a lot of energy, yeah. a really high impact um, performance, um, lots of hits. You know, um, I, I I think we do. Probably three three quarters of, of 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 the hits that we have yeah. occurred in our in our you know history yeah. of right. you know doing music, but um, you will get a, a a live show, you know, totally live, no no backstage singers mm. or all of that. It's us. It's us up there. It's us dancing, singing. And, and giving you the best of what we have to give you, you know. Um, but it's a high energy show. It's a high impact show. All right, now, away from the music for a minute, you guys have <coughs> individually, I've done my research, you see, but I just want to hear it from the horse's mouth. You guys have a lot going on away from music. I mean, there's food, there's mm -hmm. charity stuff, um, there's all sorts of stuff going on. So tell us a little about that. What's uh, what, what's up individually? Um, what what are you guys 
up to away from the music as entrepreneurs because you're all businessmen um i guess i'll just start off with yeah, go on. myself and my wife um we are part of an organization called direct relief who provide emergency series emergency services for disaster disaster stricken areas all over the world in 80 wow. countries yeah. um, it's something that we are very proud of yeah. um, all the proceeds Respect. of our first single gold are actually being donated to direct relief so if you would like to help out please check out directrelief.org or follow myself or my wife on on social media at mr ricky bell and she is amy correa bell lovely jubbly <laughs> all right go on let's keep let's keep it going guys wow ah oh, man away from the music away don't say don't music. say the word music Away from the music, <laughs> raising, the music. right? Just being an incredible husband, raising two amazing twin boys, Ronald and Roman. They're yep. 17 months of age, trying to figure out how to balance that life with, like you said, being an entrepreneur. Yeah. Uh, I've been in the real estate game since 2002, as yep. a matter of fact. So you know, I've been asking a lot of questions mm -hmm. about the building and the state of the economy as far as Lagos, Nigeria is concerned. Uh, we're staying in an area that I heard. So, so you you would invest here, yeah? Oh yes, I heard Absolutely. we're staying in an area that is Bless one of you, the bro. right richest areas in all of Africa, right here in ooh, Lagos. Ooh. I'm hearing about. So, of course, it's real estate um, and raising them kids, raising them kids. Yes. Um, for me, of course, you know my wife is a real estate broker, mm -hmm. so we deal with that stuff too. You know, commercial real estate and um, we have our Bed Fan Foundation. We just um, dropped off some school to the Boston Public School Athletic Department. Try to help them, you know, get the things they need. They're still lacking uniforms. They're lacking a lot of things just to keep that level of um, sports going to keep those D1 coaches coming to our city so we can see future stars. And all of the other stuff we'll do, education and computers. But more importantly, I got a clothing line called Sporty Rich, SportyRichApparel.com. Yeah, yeah. Bob and Rick, Ron left his hat, I yeah, got mine. Uh, we, we support each other through um, our clothes and stuff. We had an I Am Gold t-shirt that Rick had a part of his charity movement. So we're, we're brothers in helping each other in terms of promoting each other's brand beyond the music. Yeah. And then on top of that, man, you know, I'm just... Um, have a basketball court back home for the kids to get out there at night a safe place to play yeah. a playground which is where we come from and other than that man i'm just a, a husband a daddy a cool guy i'm 50 now and i'm feeling fly I'm <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen the king <laughs> this is bobby um i guess um i have the you know the bobby brown food line yeah. um, is bobbybrownfoods.com um, also we have a charity that we um, we do every year uh, for my daughter it's the Bobby Christina Serenity House we just pop partnered up with uh, Brook Root, Brookview in Boston to build the first building um, so we're really looking forward to that other than that um, I just like to stay busy with my kids, you know. Yeah. We're all fathers, you know, except Rick, but oh, we're all fathers. He's on his way, though. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He's on okay. His way. Congratulations. Um, you, uh, you've, got, you've got a bun in the oven, Rick? No, no, not uh -oh. quite yet. <laughs> <laughs> so we just like, we just like, I mean, we're brothers, you know, so, you know, our families like to get together sometimes, and, you know, we just do things, you know. Um, when we're on tour, you know, we... We bring our families out sometimes, and you know, they all hang out together. And, you know, talk with each other. So you know, it's about it's about love, absolutely partnership, friendship, right. and brotherhood. Yes, and so. um, that's the one thing that we all have in common. Yep. You know where we come from. It's not. I mean, you're not used to having a brother. Yeah. With you rolling all the time with you. Right. Um, and you lose a lot of people along the way. Along the way, and gratefully, we are all still here, right. and we're all still friends, and we're all still brothers. So it's 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 about it's about that. It's not just about the music. 
It's about love. Right. Absolutely. And I love these dudes. All right, yeah, getting back you. getting back to the music, but not the way you're thinking. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, we consider this a very vibrant time for Nigerian music. Yes. Now, what Mommy was you, talking what, about that earlier. Yeah. yeah. What do you guys know of Nigerian music? What do you think about the Nigerian music scene? It's the Afro beats, right? Like yeah. Yeah. names like um, I don't know if I'm saying it right, but uh, I hear it's David O. Or David, David O. o right? David yeah. But T was Savage, right? Yeah. Oh, with his kid, like. That's right. When we touched down and even before we came, um, you, you have to dig yourself and immerse yourself into the culture and what it's all about. Like right. we live and love music. So to hear names and to hear music from people such as uh, the names that I just listed. And, yeah. and the know big that concert that coming, right? right? Isn't it That's a big right. concert? Yeah, exactly. yeah. We yeah. saw the stage being built. Right? Nah, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. It's just, and you know, for me, um, soca music for me, merengue music for me, yeah. Afro beats is like just a part of you know who I am. The fabric, the fabric of me, it just moved me. So, so uh, I, I can't wait to actually watch a concert tonight with some of those acts um, yeah. on the bill at the same place that we're playing Absolutely. tomorrow night. Um, yeah. So, yeah, uh, it feels good to dig into it and know that it's not only big and huge here in Nigeria, but it's moving across the world. Like it's taking over America as well. When you think of that mm -hmm. Afro beats, you got acts like uh, Rihanna and Drake, you know, yeah, digging yeah. into what that music is all about. So we live it and we love it ultimately. Yeah. Ronnie does his research. Yeah, yeah. certainly. <laughs> I'm Absolutely. <laughs> okay, okay. Anybody ever heard, anybody ever heard of a dance called Shaku Shaku? No. No. Hmm? Okay, I'm gonna show you guys. No, you before can't. I will show you guys before you leave, <laughs> but all only on the condition that all the cameras go. <laughs> uh, is it the girl? Should the girl do it? Can the woman do it? Or oh, absolutely. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing. It's nothing raunchy. It's just. Uh, oh, I mean, they all left. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong. It's just a dance that's all the rage over here at the moment that's kind of you know and everyone's doing it there's loads of well teach us already if, if you now google we'll it <laughs> we'll show it no we'll show I you i think it's I'll probably the one that you know we we try and do a little bit on stage man right? the, 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 the little lake the little lake joint is that it shows no. what it is uh, show uh, come on. Uh, uh, this is gonna go viral oh, i can't no, believe i'm it. doing this oh, let's no. try because you got to watch the legs it's something <laughs> like this i might not quite get it but it's something like that uh, so, uh, just for record, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like mopping the floor, yeah. Yeah. and then it, and then there's, there's there's the hand thing that goes with it, you know, oh, as you oh, as you're doing it, sort of thing, yeah. you know. And we uh, have to find someone to yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's the problem. That's, yeah. I mean, honestly, I will try and get someone to give you. You can. Person. It'd be great. <laughs> yeah, if you go, we're, we're gonna leave you on the mic. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't do that. <laughs> RBRM in the house, you It's the only. I think that um, this, what's just happened, is going to be a, a memory that I'll take with me, like for always. You see, you guys are, everyone's knocking 50, you're a little bit about 50. I'm and the only one that's not 50. I'm 49. Yeah, 49. Yeah, I'll be 50 next I'll be year. 50 in February. There you go. You're, you're 50, both. <laughs> you are. Yeah. I mean, Yo, can, we, can we make your wall? Can we get up on the wall when we leave? A picture? Absolutely. Hell yeah. Can one of the cameramen go in the corner for a second? Let's get this live. So they can show what's behind this man. Yeah. Face that way. Man. All right. So you can have this. Come down some. A little bit. There we go. Yeah. So you can have us on the microphone. Get in there. We was here. And we still live, baby. We not playing. Lagos right. radio here, right? Legos. Yes, sir. Classic 97. Yes. We're taking photos. We're trying to make the wall of fame. Yes. My DJs are coming back to you okay. in about five okay. seconds. And five. There you go. Four, and four. Three, the chairs are spinning two, back around with the headsets. One. And we're back, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Guys, it's it's we're uh, always going buildings and we need to be on walls. <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute pleasure, pleasure and a, and a privilege, you know, having you guys on the station. Um, 
not often people whose uh, who's music you, you love and lived, uh, you get to actually speak with them. So it's a special moment for us. Thanks so very much thank you, thank for, you for coming so much by. For having thank you. Us. I appreciate it. Legos, we'll see you tomorrow night, baby. Yes, so now I tell you what, you're not leaving just yet. Someone's going to show you this shuffle. I think Betty can do it. Do what? <laughs> they want to learn the moves. Come on, go. Guys, give her a hard time. I don't even know how to do it. Oh, yes, you do. Which one is Shaka Shaka? Come on, Shaka Shaka. Go on, Betty. Go on Betty. Amza, Amza. Amza, go on. I don't think I know how to do there it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Go, on, go, on, go on, go on. Yeah, there we go. There, there we go. go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. There so, yeah, go. Okay, okay, okay. Something to that effect. I didn't do it very well, but something to that effect. Okay, that was not what you was doing. Absolutely, all right? Yeah, but, yeah, but, but I'm I'm I knew it. Yeah. Yeah. Give me a break. No, you got, you got a break. But thank you so much for having us. Yes, we we really before, appreciate you. Go, go, we have to do our, our, our 80s, 90s question. If, oh, if you absolutely. Had to pick, if you had to pick a decade, which decade would you say gave us the best artist, the best music? 80s or 90s? So I don't go no, first. no, no. If you put it that way, they're going to go. No, that's, that's putting it too easy. It no, <laughs> no. I want to go first. Hang on, let me rephrase I, the I question. Think, I think 83 was one of the dopest years because New Absolutely. Edition and Run came, and that's the epitome right. of hip hop. There we go. 80s, 80s, 80s. Okay, all right, 80s. All right, all right. That's 80s. the epitome year, but if I had to go decade, be 89, 90, 91, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90, 90. <laughs> That's 90s then. That's, that's more 90s than 80s. I'm going to go 90s. Yeah, 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 I go with cool. both, I go like with both decades because. Because you know, hip hop came and 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 when New Edition introduced R and B with hip hop, it was it was not heard of. Yes, right. yes. When when we put rap into our our music, our R and B songs, yeah, into right. rappers on tour, B. And they would sometimes they would not play a song with a rap in it on the radio in America yeah. until New Edition did it. Uh, so. We're just proud of that. And when that you look moment. at when you look at the biggest album in the history of albums, Thriller, you know, which Candy Girl was sitting at number one and Beat It was actually sitting at number two. Uh, yeah. Um come on, you gotta say the eighties. Eighties? You 80s? gotta say the eighties. Uh, it was the jump off for of any and the biggest album of all time, Thriller. Come on, hands down, drop the mic. Just drop the mic. Eighty nine, ninety one, ninety one. Drop the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for coming through, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Thank you for having me so much.